Hello everybody, it's Victor here with a review today on the Master Grade Gun Cannon. It's a, uh, you see, very nice. Uh, it is fully painted, as you can tell. I have, you know, slightly a few different shades of gray and red and whatnot on them. You know, just to help them. Such a plain, you know, simple mobile suit to stick out a bit more. Without adding a few details with the paint job. You know, some decals. 108. That's a very nice um, model kit for being fairly old. As you can see, you could take that off, pop that out there a bit. And has a core, detachable core fighter or a core brock. I believe it also comes with a core fighter, but I don't remember. It's been a while since I built this. But yeah, let's stick that right in there, like so, and there you go. It's amazing. Some nice details see right there, little thrusters. Okay, well, some nice cannons. Can move up that high, can move down that. Move them up his head. You could do a 360, but it's a little difficult with the cannons in the way. And again, be careful with the antennas, they could break the very thin, fragile pieces. There you go, a nice clear visor for the face. That's nice. I like that. Uh, as you see, his arms have no obstructions whatsoever. So you get the good amount of bend there. But his elbows apparently don't bend very well. Let's knock that off. You see, that's pretty much the extent of his elbow bend. And his wrist is on a bolt joint, so you get it. And being an older kit, he only has the you know, three finger trigger finger split, none you know, thumb on a ball joint. See this is a kit that could probably benefit from having one of those fully posable like aftermarket hands. Um his whole midsection is pretty much solid because of the core fighter. But as you seen earlier he does have an opening cockpit. You can somewhat see the pilot. And his side skirts slightly move, front skirts move slightly too, but restricted because of the shape in this side skirt, so you don't really get anything more than just an up and down pretty much. Back skirts don't move, his backpack is stationary, nice little vents there though for the exhaust for when he shoots his cannon, thrusters underneath, the extent of his front kick. Back kick, not very far. And unfortunately, his legs are on the ball joints, so you don't get a whole lot of movement. That, none of his splits go anymore, you'll break the pegs, not a very good thing. His knee bend. See, nice little armor underneath there that sticks out for when you do it. It's a nice little feature. And here we got these little opening things. And inside you have a nice little grenade, which I cannot get to very well because of my fingers. Wait, wait, maybe I'll get it. Maybe? I got it. Little grenades. They just slip right inside. Like so. And he has that on both sides. Uh, nice 108. Um, decent movability on his feet. Enough. And if you know anything about the original Gundam, the he noticed that the, you know the gun t uh, cannon does not come with any beam uh, sabers or knives or anything like that, but it does come with a long beam rifle with movable scope. And it's the only part on here that can move. And it just fits right in the hand like so, you know, like any beam rifle, or gun for that matter, for any mobile suit. You know, he holds it fairly well, it's not heavy. Now, he also comes with a second set of hands, like flat hands, so you could crouch him 
down on the ground and like he's shooting but those are in a box somewhere and I don't feel like digging through it to find them so that's pretty much that on the gun cannon it's a nice kit if you like original Gundam or you want the original Operation V set you know gun tank, Gundam, gun cannon yeah pick it up let's do a little quick comparison with the, oops, the RX Go, go side by side. Fairly the same height. Oops. It's a bit bulkier, you know. And what's a Gundam and a gun cannon together without a gun tank? Can't go wrong there. Operation V. Alright, this is Victor. Thanks for watching.